It was a lie. These people do not care about the truth. They're happy to spread lies with the aim of deceiving people and the aim of whipping people up. On Tuesday night, a crowd gathered outside Selbridge Manor. That's where more than 100 people seeking asylum, children, women and men, live. And the crowd chanted, paedophiles out, deport them now, get them out. There were threats made to burn the building, where people live to burn the building down. Why? Because of a disgusting lie spread on social media by far-right agitators. The lie was that a seven-year-old girl had been raped in the hotel by three non-Irish men. First shared by a supporter of the Irish Freedom Party online and then amplified by far-right agitators Fergus Power and Derek Bly and people were called to protest. It was a lie. These people do not care about the truth. They're happy to spread lies with the aim of deceiving people and the aim of whipping people up. Two weeks ago, Dr Umar al Qadri, the chair of the Irish Muslim Council, was lured into a housing estate and beaten up in a racist assault. This is what a rise in the far right is going to look like. More arson attacks, more racist violence, more danger in our communities. The vast majority of people reject this. People know that responsibility for the housing crisis, the health crisis, the deep inequality in our society lies with the government, not with vulnerable people. That majority is represented by those who came out of their homes in Tala to help Dr Al Qadri when he was attacked, by those who warned residents of Selbridge Manor arriving home from work about what was going on and helped them get back safely. That majority will be on display this Saturday when more than 130 organisations have come together to organise a solidarity march. At 1.30pm at Parnell Square, thousands of people will stand together against racism, hate and war, for homes, health and rights for all, and to demand that the wealth is shared and inequality is ended. We live in one of the wealthiest countries in the world, but more than four in ten parents have skipped meals so their children could have enough to eat. A country full of vacant and derelict properties, almost 60,000 long-term vacant, but where more than 4,000 children are in emergency accommodation. Properties that should be CPO'd by councils, as has finally now happened in Clondalkin. The far-right agitators are working very consciously to direct people's anger, not at those at the top of our society, but against those at the bottom. I have confidence in people coming out on Saturday, making their views known, but I have a lot less confidence in the government. What is the state going to do to protect people? Why did it take so long, more than a day, for Gardaí to issue a statement Thank debunking you, Deputy. the dangerous lies being spread by the far right? When they're spreading lies about imaginary Deputy. crimes, why is there not an immediate response to tell the truth to people? I, I don't doubt for a minute, Tonister, that you are utterly opposed to and that you condemn the you know, arson attacks, the racist violence, the lies, the misinformation, and, and so on. I don't doubt that. Um, but I do think the government bears a responsibility. They're not the same responsibility, of course, as the far right. But for example, you, you have placed over a thousand people who've come here seeking asylum in harm's way by putting them on the streets. That's a policy choice you have made. Uh, you created a two-tier asylum uh, process, which legitimised some of the arguments suggesting that these people aren't legitimate legitimate asylum seekers. That's the, the one level in which you're responsible. The second is for the real issues that affect people. The housing crisis which gets worse day on day. The inequality, the health crisis. Your government is responsible because of the economic system and those that you represent. The corporate landlords, the private developers and so on. None of that, of course, justifies any racist violence. None of that uh, is the fault of asylum seekers. But it is true that the far right try to tap into real legitimate issues and then direct anger away from your government, away from those at the top of our society and towards those at the bottom. And that's precisely why, on Saturday, we are marching to demand homes for all. Henry, thank you, to demand he health care for all, to demand a tackling of inequality as well as rejecting the racism and hatred spread by the far right.